this is Savita Bodke and welcome to the yet another lecture of quick revision of international finance. In the today's lecture, we are going to study regarding the arbitrage profit. What is the meaning of arbitrage? Arbitrage means we are going to buy the currency from the one market and we are going to sell the currency in the another market. So that is nothing but the arbitrage. In a layman's language, you can take a very simple example that I am purchasing this pen from the Mumbai market for 10 rupees and I am selling this pen in a Navi Mumbai market for 12 rupees. What I am doing? I am purchasing this for the 10 rupees from the Mumbai market and in a Navi Mumbai, I am selling this at the higher rate and I am making a profit of 2 rupees. So, whenever in the forex market, you are purchasing the currency from the one market at the lower rate and selling the same currency in the another market at higher rate, that mechanism is called as the arbitrage and whatever the profit you are making that called as the arbitrage profit. Now in case of the Mumbai University TYBMS syllabus, you are having three types of sums. One is the simple calculation of arbitrage profit. Second type is when you are going to compute a arbitrage profit with the help of the inverse rate and the third type is triangular arbitrage. I am going to make the separate lectures for all this three. In the today's lecture, first we are going to study regarding the computation of simple arbitrage profit means no adjustment, nothing, nothing. You are having one simple formula for the computation of this arbitrage profit. The formula is principal into identified bid. Please pay attention. It's not the bid. It is a identified bid. This whole is divided by identified ask minus principal. Always in a computation of arbitrage, we have to assume a principal amount is of the 1 million. 1 million means 10 lakhs. Now we are having one question over here based on the simple arbitrage profit computation. They have given you the currency pair of Australian dollar, US dollar for the bank A. Again, they have given you the same currency pair. They have given you the bid rate and ask rate for the bank B. Now, those who are not comfortable with the concept of bid rate and ask rate from the banker's point of view and from the retail individual's point of view, then in the description box, I have given you the link of one of my previous lecture where I have explained each and everything regarding the bid and ask rate from the retail individual point of view as well as from the bank point of view. So first, please watch that lecture. Once your concept will be clear, to understand this arbitration, arbitrage profit, you will take only one or two minutes. So now they have given you the bid rate and ask rate. I am a retail individual. So this ask rate is the buying rate for me. So I am having two buying rates. That is 1.9388 that is applicable for the bank A and 1.9400 that is applicable for the bank B. Now, always I am going to buy at the lower rate. So, which rate is the lower? The lower rate is offered by the bank A. So, that's why I have highlighted it. That is 1.9388. Now, it means that I am going to purchase the currency from the bank A at 1.9388. Now, I have to sell the same currency in the another market for the higher rate. Now over here, again I am having the two rates and for the bank B, the higher rate I am having for the selling that is 1.9398. So that's why now over here we have to specify that the bid rate that is 1.9398 is higher because I am going to sell at the higher rate than the ask rate is of 1.9388. So arbitrage is exist because I am going to purchase the currency at the lower rate and I am going to sell the currency at the higher rate and I am making a profit. So that profit is your arbitrage. Now we have to assume a capital of Australian dollar 1 million 
already we are having the formula the same formula we are going to copy it over here that is principal into identified bid divided by identified ask minus principal so principal we have already assumed as 1 million into identified bid we are having identified bid is of 1.9398 so i have placed it over here identified ask we are having is of 1.9388 minus the principal amount is of the 1 million now when we are going to compute it we are getting a profit of 515.78 but we are simply not going to write down it as 515.78 we are going to write down it properly Australian dollar 515.78 per Australian dollar 1 million means we are making a profit of 515.78 Australian dollar when we are doing the arbitrage of 1 million Australian dollar. I hope that this concept of arbitrage as well as how to compute the simple type of sums based on arbitrage profit is clear to all of you. Keep watching my further lectures for the more guidance on the international finance. Thank you so much.